multitude of people and there's a poor police officer trying to do that yeah and these are the gates and he goes to Taumina place is busy see oh yeah look at the people just pouring just like literally waves pouring waves through. of people look at that street behind us Beautiful Taramina is perched on a hilltop. We took a gondola to get up here. Church time. It's time to go visit St. Catherine's. Above the door is a statue of St. Catherine with an angel on each side. 1495. Catherine. Yes, so We're getting some freshly pressed pomegranate juice. Look at the size of that. Uno. Uno. Oh, I thought there's three euros. There's three euros. Oh, yeah. The small, small, strong muscle doing that, eh? Yes, this size is perfect. This size is Yes. Oh, look at that. Nobody messes with her. No. Three. After a quick stop at the local tourist office to ask directions to the ancient Greek theater, we were on our way. Of course, we had to admire the figurines first. All we need is a donkey. Or maybe look at my way. <laughs> or maybe a Don't jackass. Even look at my way. Mm. One more flight. Yeah. And you know what? These steps were not built. No. By the kind of architects we encountered That's right. in Rome. They're steep. That's right. They're built by Sicilian architects. Here she comes. <laughs> But first, we gotta still go up more. Teatro Antico, built by the Greek and then adopted by the Romans. Today it is used for musical concerts like Sting, the Grand Symphony Orchestra. So this is where they have the concerts, eh? Isn't that cool to think about that? Yes, it is. It keeps giving you know new life to something that's ancient, which is awesome. Right? And we've seen that theme throughout okay. Italy, haven't we? We have, yeah. Yeah, where it's just like layers where you build the new on top of the old, yeah. and the old is the foundation for the new. I mean, what a perfect metaphor. Yeah. Love that fly. Love you too. Where are you? There you are. Aww. Get go, get go. Marina. That's Taumina with Mount Etna in the background. The view is spectacular. Yeah. You see, a little town here. Taumina, Isla Bella, and the coastline. And that haze is from Mount Etna. This amphitheater dates back to the 2nd century. It was restored in the 1900s. 
Uh, it's basically a Roman reconstruction that was based on a Greek amphitheater. And it's the second largest in all of Italy, second only to the one we saw earlier in where? Syracuse. Ah. What is that on top, I see? Is that a castle or remnants of a castle? Snack time. At the top, there's a small museum which houses ancient tablets. So right here is an account. This is actually a financial account. It's like bookkeeping. And this behind me is fragments of a calendar. Now when people say things are written in stone, you can see where that came from. Exactly. I think it's time for one. We headed back to town for some refreshments. In the 19th century, Taramina became one of the most popular tourist resorts in the whole of Europe. Looking around, one can easily see why. Hey, Dre. Yeah. This is where, over there, is where the rich people sit. See yeah. that? Over here. Some people. On the side bench by the whole building. By the church. In the 1900s, Taromina gained reputation as a liberal resort. Many famous artists would visit here, including the German poet Goethe, Oscar Wilde, Friedrich Nietzsche, Richard Wagner, and Tennessee Williams. The Cathedral of Taromina dates back to the 13th century. It was built on the ruins of a church dedicated to St. Nicholas of Bari. Stop. It just means bus stop. You can't say fermata. People are like, what? <laughs> Sadly, it was time to go. But this time we're catching a bus. Look at these bricks. Just think how many years ago, thousands of years ago, these bricks were formed and then they were laid. And you know what? This is still standing. <laughs> they got laid before you did. Got laid. Oh. <laughs> She's got a little taller. <laughs> She's standing on a ladder. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think of this amphitheater we've just been exploring? Yeah, it's huge. Mm -hmm. And it's very well um, preserved. I think it's the best, uh, the best, uh, um, I think it's the best preserved one I've seen so far. <laughs> oh my god.